Scorpio. Welcome to your September monthly tarot reading with me. This is Brooke. And welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in. Scorpio, I'm going to be doing a five-card spread for your reading. Please make sure to watch for your sun, your rising, your moon sign in this video as this is a general reading. So let's get started, Scorpio. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump right into it, shall we? I've already pre-shuffled. I have not peeked. Ooh, look at that. We start off with the sun card. I pre-shuffle off camera to save time because I will be shuffling for days. <laughs> shuffling for days. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles speaks to me on a level of balance in the month of September. Balancing jobs. If you're working more than one job, this could be applicable. School, work, home, family life. This could also be in terms of possibly two potential people that you're interested in romantically. Some form of balance. Trying to juggle it. Trying to maintain a sense of equilibrium with everything and trying to prevent burnout for Scorpio as well. This could be having different side projects going on at the same time. So the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. In the theme, we see the sun, major arcana card. Very positive for Scorpio for September. This is very indicative of friendships, good times, feeling great, feeling optimistic, feeling like things are really panning out, things are really working out, feeling successful, confident in the month of September. Something's bringing Scorpio a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and really, really highlighting a certain area of your lives. Something is very much being highlighted. And something's also being very much validated to you. That you deserve good. You deserve the best. You deserve to be treated better. You deserve to be paid the salary that you know deep down inside you should earn. It's as if, Scorpio, you're now coming into a period of attracting good fortune and attracting positivity, positive experiences, positive outcomes, positive work environments, positive relationships, which is very blessed for Scorpio. Out of the most recent past energies, we see the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles could be potential Earth sign female energies. I'm going to keep her gender specific. I know some readers are like male and female because this is a general reading. But the Queen, of course, can have attributes that are male. She is very much in command financially, financially stable. It's very practical, generous, gift giving. She could own her own business. This could be mother figure, wife, girlfriend, sister, aunt, grandmother energies. She could very much be someone who has helped Scorpio, or this could be your significant card, Scorpio, whether you're male or female. Coming out of the most recent past, this could be boss, supervisor, mentor, reference. She has been a part of Scorpio's success or happy place or happiness going into the month of September. The most recent energy position, we have the Page of Rods. There has been good news or good news is coming. This is a relay of a message. This is a relay of good news in some form. However, it's communicated to Scorpio. Letter, document, phone call, text, FaceTime, Snapchat, you know, however, <laughs> email, snail mail. However, it comes in the form for Scorpio. 
the page of rods it's very indicative of good news it's on its way it's in your present energy position scorpio so it may already be arriving or it has arrived and the potentials for it arriving in september are very very high i'm very much connected to this very much connected it's going to bring open a door it's going to shine a light on some area of your life that perhaps there's been struggle with or a period of nothing happening, very much something's going to be happening and being highlighted in that area. The challenge, we have the seven of rods. The seven of rods is very much a position of advantage. You have to push hard, Scorpio, this month. You have to push hard. You have to push yourself. You have to motivate yourself. If this is what you want, and if there's an opportunity coming in and you receive word about it, don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Don't let that opportunity slip away. It may be hard. It may be difficult. It may be a challenge. You may be asked or be called upon to perhaps sacrifice something on a daily basis to get to where you need to go. It may change up your routine a little bit. It may be a bit intimidating. You may be around people you've never met before. You may be working in a, a particular situation, project, job, career. It's very much coming across to me as some sort of career opportunity. And you may have to prove yourself, Scorpio. You may have to prove yourself if you are making a comeback in some sort of area of your life. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to prove yourself. And you may feel that you're being challenged on a daily basis. People are watching you, but you have a position of advantage. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Show them what you got in the month of September. Now there's a relationship highlighted in your potential outcome. This could be a business partnership. This could also be a relationship with others where there's a, there's a mutual likeness. These people get you. These people understand you. They're in the same area or the same field. Okay? There's a mutual respect for Scorpio in the month of September. There's a mutual attraction in terms of liking or being skilled in the same area. And there could be potentials for partnership, whether this is on a romantic level or whether this is on a business level. It just depends upon Scorpio and your life situation. Then we see the King of Rods, very influential, entrepreneurial type of fire male energy, great talker, persuasive, charismatic. Okay, he shows up as well. Next to the star card, something's pulling you towards something that you're meant to be doing. There's a purpose. You may be aligning with your soul's purpose in September. You're feeling divinely guided. It's a period of hope, a period of renewal. Eight of Rods coming in very quickly. Once again, if something has been slowed down, if no activity was happening, September is very much going to be the month, possibly for many of those that are watching, of things really starting to pick up pace. This feeling of being stuck or trapped is going to end. We have World, and I'm going to stop there. So these... Feelings of being restricted or stuck or trapped, it's going to end. This is a card of achievement, major arcana of the world. Full circle. Something's definitely come full circle, and it's been a long time coming, Scorpio. So don't miss that train. Don't miss that flight. Hustle. Get to what you need to get to because there's an achievement highlighted. There's success. There's accolades. There's something that Scorpio is finally going to love what you're doing or get back on top of what you used to do. 
and the world's very much about achievement and success very much coupled with the Sun card great positive reading Scorpio for the month of September very much about finding like-minded individuals and finding your tribe okay no matter what your skill set is whether you're a mechanic whether you're a dentist or whether you're a filmmaker there's something that is pulling you towards you're going to receive word this queen may be very influential in events as well or has been so good luck to you scorpio keep me posted i hope this reading was helpful thank you so much for joining me please make sure to subscribe check out my social media and if you'd like to book a reading with me check out my website have a blessed month i send you all much love much peace and many blessings and i'll speak to you soon